<clears throat> right, so to continue with the story, here's Noah, and he just killed his father Lamech, who's now up in the spirit world, um, with all the other people who have died thus far in the in this human um, earth story, children of God. We are the children of our mother, father, God. So here's Noah. They've tried to get the um, 777 karma, um, but it didn't work. So, what does he do? Well, he thinks, hang on, I just killed my dad. Um, God hasn't struck me down or done anything. So, um, well, maybe I'll just do more bad things and see what happens. So, in a sense, perhaps what he was the first one to do is to explore being evil. Is that right? I'm not really getting a confirmation. Um, the first time I had these ideas about Noah, and it wasn't about him being evil, but definitely about taking away the truth. Somehow, didn't quite know. At that time I imagined that there was a signpost of truth somewhere in the world, <laughs> and you could go there and ask it any question, but I think that was just my imagination. However, back to the story. Um, so I'm, what I'm explaining is I have had some insights into this. I'm not just like making it up now. And it's sort of starting to make a bit more sense. Not that, you know, Noah, you're my brother, right? And you had your purpose and you did what you did. And I'm sure everything that's ever happened in the world is as it ought to have been. I mean, it wasn't your fault that a man and a man left God, was it? So, and it wasn't your fault that Cain killed Abel, was it? So you're, you're a bit like Cain, you know, you're exploring something. So you decided to be evil, didn't you? We should love you anyway, shouldn't we? Because, um, you know, love is the answer to everything, isn't it? You know that now, don't you? Do you? Do you? Is there other people who've carried it on? I mean, that is what I got the sense of, but... You're telling me the truth, you're not being evil and lying, are you? Okay, so Noah explored evil, and <clears throat> what did you do? Mm -hmm. Should we tell them? Noah said that he was God. Did you do this when you were alive? I don't know, I haven't, haven't got into that. Did you do this when you were dead? Okay, yeah, okay, so after you died. Right, okay, and what, so that we have this story in the Bible, don't we? I, the Nephilim thing I'm still not sure about. Uh, I really don't know. Do you? Right, well, that, that'll be another video if ever it happens. It's probably one of your lies, wasn't it? Right, so you had three children, didn't you, that survived after your story about the Ark? And you, how could everyone on the earth have died when the next chapter in the Bible, you know, there's people living here, there and everywhere? Amazed, you know, people fell for it. But, um, so you said you were God. Right, hang on, hang on, sorry, right. So, what was this nakedness? One of your sons saw your nakedness and you were drunk. And you got pissed off with him. And, and so you divided your three children. Ham, Shem and Japheth. Now, which one, which one's, um, well, you can be Ham, because you look the most righteous. 
You can be Japheth, because you look like you haven't got a clue. And you can be Shem. Look at you, lovely, perfect. Look at that big heart on you. Um, right. So you made him the boss. Now, you then went to Egypt, didn't you? Yeah. And you had him as your slave. And him as whatever. And all the pharaohs, weren't you? And one of you called, was called Amen, yeah. Still people end their prayers giving, um, what do you call it, worshipping um, an Egyptian who thought they were God. And that had something to do with this guy, didn't it? Yeah. And so we had this whole um, is it Jehovah business, changing God, taking away the truth. Anyway, so that's that.